Come on, guys. All right, let's go. Good morning, Miss Maple. Good morning, Mr. Ollie. Let's go to work. Oh yeah, it's getting windy. Oh, you thought the hurricane was over. Yeah, hurricane season was over. So, it is Wednesday at 6.40 a.m. and this is our Hurricane Ian update. At the moment, the storm is a category three about to turn into a category four. Now, the line of approach has actually shifted and we live literally right there. Something to know about us Floridians, when it comes to hurricanes, we're not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> So uh, I'm gonna be documenting it, but at the moment we're still safe and it's in between the Florida Keys and Naples. Odds are it hits us. All right, so at the moment it's 8 a.m. Um, and the weather is just getting worse. Straight home, good girl. Ollie, go on, straight home. It's starting to lighten up a minute. It's actually lightening up, hold on. So I don't really recommend this, but Oh my God, the whole yard is flooding. Oh my God, the whole yard's already underwater. I'd say the most legitimate threat from hurricanes is just flooding, which it's guaranteed to flood, so there's no point in worrying about it. We got everything inside just in time. While the rain is starting pretty heavy here, this is most likely nothing yet. This is an NBC News special report. This could be a very severe hurricane. Hurricane Ian hits. This one historically is going to be way over the top. It's time to hunker down and prepare for the storm. Reporting from Bradenton, Florida. Hello, this is Sawyer Hartman with Vero Beach Weather. And at the moment, at the moment, dare I say, we might have gotten lucky. This is catastrophic. Uh, I forgot to make Florida hurricane necessary preparations. And now the frickin' liquor store is closed. Oh, now I have no beer! All right, they're open. All right, my mood has turned around completely because I just realized I never started House of Dragon. I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. And now I've got nothing to do but sit in my home theater and drink Game of Thrones wine watching the new Game of Thrones. Liquid hoppiness, that's close enough to happiness. I'll take that. That looks pretty good. Give that a try. That's got a little Halloween feel to it. Let's go for it. Survival kit. Happy hurricaning. All right, so uh, I made friends in the checkout line because I've got my survival kit. I know you've never been through a Florida hurricane, so I went and got the last few survival items we needed. Liquid happiness? Let's do liquid hoppiness. Happy hurricane. To Ian. Ooh. Ollie, that was just as bad as I thought it was going to be. That is just as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's oddly quiet. It's interesting. This is actually the challenge of daily vlogs that I was most excited to undertake is when I don't have a story, when my week is just sitting inside waiting for weather to come, can I still make a vlog that's interesting and engaging? Go get it. The wind. The winds are now just starting to come in. Um, this is the first time in the last few days that this has actually felt like it could be a hurricane. Oh yeah, it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. So at the moment, Hurricane Ian is only 50 miles away from us. Whoa. Whoa. Maple, come. Stay right here, okay? I'm just gonna go check. Stay. Good girl. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'll be out of the woods yet. All right, looks like nothing hit my truck, which is a miracle. Got a free wash. Honestly, this is not that bad. All right, so before I start doing any kind of yard cleanup assessment, uh, Drew and I are gonna go drive over to the island and see if there was any damage and what it looks like. Holy crap, look at it still out. Nothing too crazy yet. Drive by and check my friend's houses real quick. We all live in the same neighborhood. They seem to be fine. 
tree came down in that yard. Theo did better than all of us. Oof. Everything is definitely wet. This is more what I was looking for. Yeah, this is my old neighborhood. Um, it never holds up well here. I mean, as you can see, like nothing really too bad happened. Just all of the foliage from the trees has fallen down. So this is gonna, oh no, that dog's outside. I hope he's all right. Paul, you all right, buddy? I think he's, he's fine. Man, we should have brought surfboards. Looks like Hawaii. Look, that was barreling. Holy crap. Whoa. The entire pipe got exposed. That was wow. not there. A lot of the beach fell in. And as you can see right here, that's our freaking deep water buoy. And that's, I guess, a sewer drain pipe that was under the sand and has now completely been exposed. We joked about it, but this is the best waves we've ever had. Ooh. All right, let's go check JC Beach Park. Where we live is actually called the Treasure Coast because Spanish galleons used to literally wreck off our coast. Apparently a father and son just found a bunch of treasure on the beach in Port St. Lucie. Drew's like, what? I didn't I know that. <laughs> Drew's like, we need to go get metal detectors now, immediately. I'm gonna go get my goggles and start snorkeling around. All right, well, we have just arrived home after doing that little uh, quick sweep of Vero. And I'd say, honestly, we got out really lucky. Everything blew away, but your Frisbee's still here. Oh my God, that made you super dirty. Go get it. Oh wow, whoa, look at the wind. The Frisbee's there forever. <laughs> this is gonna take a day or two to clean up. I just wanna make sure none of our fences got wrecked. Great Wall of Vero is still standing. Stay, you ready? So this big tree we have in the backyard has a little bit of cleaning up to do. While the hurricane has passed us, there's obviously some storms still around it. And because of that, I don't think I'm going to clean up the yard until the storms have stopped or I'll be doing this twice. <sighs> yeah! It's like a jungle back here, guys, huh? Look how much better it's looking. We've cleaned up the whole tree. All those dead branches are gone. It honestly looks better than it did before the storm. I'm excited to show Angelique. Now, we're gonna log the rest of this crap out and then to finish off this vlog, we're going to Last Friday tonight, which is a street festival here in Vero Beach and we're going with some of my oldest friends in the world. Um, in a style that can only be explained as very Florida. So Buster's a little bit like Florida man and uh, he's made, this is a motorized, a bathtub. We've got this hand welded motorcycle. And then what, you got a jet ski with a motor? Jet ski, what else? lazy boy. The toilet, uh, toilet might be the favorite. This is what we do in Florida. We drive around like we're kids, hope that we don't pass a cop. Are we going to Sexton? No. Okay. What do you think of Florida, Drew? It's a good day. <laughs> I like to wake him up. Florida. We gonna see. Big day ahead of us. Get out your bed. Go get you some breakfast. Don't make excuses. Just make it effortless. Comfortable out of my comfort zone. Cut off the ones who ain't want me on. Worry about something when nothing's wrong. Working for God till he want me home. I have no fear of destruction. I have no fear of death. Don't make a threat. I blow that whistle like a ref. 